Welcome back guys. Uh, we're gonna talk about something other than video games and board games today. We're gonna talk about toys. Yay, toys! And who likes Transformers? That this guy! guy. <laughs> this guy right here. Um, a friend of mine, Phil, told me about this. This was down at my local comic book store. So I had to go down and check it out. And where they have a points program, I had enough points built up that I basically bought it out, right? I got it free. Yeah. yeah. I got it free it along awesome. with a few comics yep. at the same time. Exactly. So what I wanted to do is I want to share my unboxing with you guys. Um, as far as information on it, I don't have a whole lot. I try to look some stuff up um, online. I know it's made by Metals Diecast, Hollywood Rigs, and Hollywood Rides. Rides, sorry. And it's a rig. It's a rig, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, one to twenty-four scale. Um, I did see in uh, some in other video. videos yeah. that there was a smaller version that is, I think, a one to thirty-two scale, which was the same size as the original Optimus Prime G1 Transformer. And you can see the difference there. Yep. So I got this out for basically comparison. So, I'm going to give you guys a look at the box before I open it up. So, that's why I got this pretty little turntable. We stole it from somebody. Yeah. Who? I don't know. Oh, no. She was she's cute. She's hot. Is she? And she's cute, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this sucker around. Get you guys have a good look at this. As you can see, there is more detail in this one than there is on, say, the... G1 Transformers, the chrome work, you have the horns, the stacks, there's more detail than the lights, everything. Bumper looks great. The box art itself mm. is very reminiscent to the G1 box art from back in my day. I, I don't know, don't quote me on this number, but I think it was from 84, 86, somewhere around that yeah, area. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, on the back, you can see when you flip it over, it has a little Optimus Prime oh, kind cool. of imprinted on the back of it. It's not. This is not a transformer. This is just a die-cast vehicle. And you can see there's a little mini picture beside that. That I think. Was it poster you was said? posters. I think you got that little poster with pretty much every Transformer you bought back then. I might be wrong. Somebody will correct me. <laughs> if yeah, if you're you wrong, you can see the details you. in the back, the, the chrome stacked, everything, the gas tank. Everything looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really neat collectible. Yes, and we're I'm a big Optimus Prime fan. I pretty much had to have it, especially where I didn't have to pay anything for it. We also got to meet Optimus Prime. We did meet Optimus yeah. Prime at Universal Studio. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this is the 35th anniversary. As you can see on the front, oh, the other front, over here, 35th anniversary of Optimus Prime. I'm assuming of the G1 Transformer series. So. I'm assuming that's why they made this die-cast collectible. Can we take it out of the box? Can we take it out of the box? Can we take it out of the box? Let's take it out of the box. Let's take it out of the box! I didn't. I wasn't sure if we were allowed. Oh yeah, we're taking it out of the box. Yeah. yeah. Don't slip and stab me with the scissors, please. I you gotta look at this face for the rest of your life. I need some sharper scissors, apparently. There we go. More tape in there. I should mention too that this is not the one and only toy my husband owns. Um, coming up in the new year, uh, we are going to show you guys our toy room and workout room. Um, we've changed things around a little bit. We're in the process of painting a green screen in there. We did have a green screen that was on two by four that we had a big stretched a big yeah, yeah fabric green screen but it was just it was taking up too much space so we are at uh, the recommendation of another YouTube video I'd seen 
painting it a sparkling apple green. Nice. Take a quick look at this. Yeah. Before I take it out, there, there's screws on the bottom that hold it to this, and uh, that's pretty much every die cast vehicle that you buy. There's always a plastic yeah. holder that holds it to the box. It's nothing, you know, amazing. It's just a. I like it. It's a nice little feature. It's nice a nice little, little feature. There, that's more plastic on the sucker on yeah. the doors here. Uh, if you're planning on putting it back on the box, do you really want to take those plastic pieces off? I say no. I. I think you can open the door. Mm, though. That's the thing I'm going to mention right now. I did go and I seen another YouTube video to see, try to find out information on this, and he took it. A, the plastic off the doors and I don't know if you can see yeah you can see the plastic right there yeah he took the plastic off the doors because the doors do look like they're gonna open up and they do open up a tiny bit they don't swing all the way and they're kind of loose and janky a little bit so I am just gonna leave that for now mm -hmm. uh, eventually I'm probably gonna take it out of the box and display it over there in my prime shrine. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna go over there after and I'm gonna show you what I have over there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Check this out. This looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Now all the details in the front, the paint, everything, like this is all metal. That's plastic. Same with the horns and stuff like that. And the mirrors. The stacks the are plastic. plastic. I wish they had gone the extra mile because these are plastic and they're a little flimsy. You can see them moving. Same with the fenders. They're pretty flimsy. Yeah. And then this back bumper here, turn around, is also plastic and flimsy and the lights are just painted on. But other than that, you know, it does look great and it'll be a great display piece. But don't get this for your kids to play. No. Because it'll be broke within five minutes. Your kids will destroy it. it. I guarantee it. Let's get a little look of side by side. Side by side. G1 Optimus with his big brother. Oh. Oh, look at that. Teen tiny baby dude. It's a yeah. father son. Is it? Father son. Yeah. Obviously, there's some details that aren't exact because this has to transform into a robot so you can see that the legs and the trailer compared to this exactly this is a more realistic portrayal portrayal of, of what like. optimus should look like yeah without the transforming part yeah so other than that we're not going to bore you any more with details of this other than it's going into my collection on a wall and it's going to look pretty yeah but i do want to share with you a optimus prime build that i did mm -hmm. it's pretty cool um let's go over and check it out sounds good all right we're back guys i know we're wearing different clothes because this has been a couple of days <laughs> we got busy yeah yeah so anyway here Hashtag we are adult life yeah adult life um as you can see here, this is a project. I I built this a little over seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I built it for my son's fifth birthday. Yeah. He was big into the Transformers. So, especially the G1 from the cartoon, because yes. yeah, I'm a good father. I'm <laughs> gonna show him the good stuff first, right? Yeah, and uh, I wanted to get him, education. yeah, I wanted to give him his own toy to play with, Optimus Prime. Yep. So, I, you don't give a five-year-old one of these. I got one on eBay that was in really rough shape, and then I fixed it all up, basically repainted, built, rebuilt the stacks, made it look worthy enough to play Didn't with. Did you take uh, like a piece of a pen or something and rebuild the stacks? It was actually a piece of a paintbrush 
your oh, little tiny plastic yeah. paintbrushes there and then I drilled a hole down through the thicker part of the stack yeah. and I glued it in and I, I shaped it all the right way and then I, I oh, painted awesome. it and put it all back together and he, nobody really even knew the difference. No. Ever. So anyway, well, I got it real cheap. And I knew he was going to rough it up there while exactly. he was playing it. But while I was rebuilding that toy, I came up with an idea to upscale it. Because yes. I had it all apart, all the little pieces, every piece, arm, leg, everything. So I'm like, well, I can measure it out and then multiply up or whatever. I can't remember the right the, the scale that I went to, but this one is for four. around 48 inches tall. Yep, four feet. Yep, to the tip of his antennas. That's so cool. And he weighs in probably between 40 and 50 pounds. He's heavy. He's heavy. He's really heavy. And he does actually transform. We yes. will show you a picture of that. Hey, Alex, how do you like the gift daddy built you? We're not going to do it today because he was so well played with yeah. that his shoulders needed to be... He has a broken hinge in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Plus, he weighs 50 pounds and I don't want to do it. Yes. <laughs> um, he's mostly made of pine or wood. Um, and you can see, like, is that like a particle board? Yeah, like a wafer, wafer board. Wafer board. Just run it over this table saw and put the grooves in for kind of make it look like a grill spray painted it yeah this is all pine 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 um that's actually uh pvc pipe yep then i filled the top with more pine i believe his wheels are actually lawnmower wheels oh yeah from our old, old lawnmower our, no no i think i went and bought think he new, brought ones. new ones i think i went oh, and bought new so. ones at home depot yep and we then, do like to repurpose stuff though. Yeah. We love this, to repurpose stuff. This uh, silver dryer vent tape. Like, it is dryer, metal dryer vent tape yeah. there. So it kind of mimics the uh, sticker on the front of him there. It, it worked out good. Yeah. The sticker is uh, really. That's actual glass. Well know. played it's with. Plexi. Yes, it's just plexi. Thick plexi. Yeah, plexi glass. I just want to share with you guys, like, because I'm always doing stuff like oh, this. Oh, yeah. And. Do you remember the whole story there? Because I had to build this thing in like three days. Oh to, goodness! Right, for why? Why I thought of this right before his birthday there? I was well, like, I think too. Uh, you had to build it really quickly as well because yeah. Alex was like constantly, like, "What's Dad doing?" Because yeah. yeah. hang out, Dad. Oh, what are you making yeah. Dad? What are you doing? Oh, Dad's building a chair in the garage. <laughs> He thought he was building a wheelchair, hence the wheels. He's like, what? Why is Daddy building a wheelchair? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I wasn't let you believe in a wheelchair. <laughs> he also built a really cool gun. Well, it's 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 a gun of a gun. I think it's, it's cool. It's made out of PVC pipe again there. Just, yeah. And then I spray painted everything black. And there's some wood in there, too. Yeah, and, this is one. Yeah, it, I just wanted him to have something that he can does. run around the house with and play. It does fit in Optimus' hand, but it's it's fairly heavy, so yes. you gotta be careful with it. You know, Just like the real transformer, everything comes out, you store it in the cab, then you transform them. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, I think on his sixth birthday or seventh birthday, he said something along the line of, Dad didn't even make me anything this year. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah. I do. 
<laughs> but we have made them lots of stuff over the oh, years. Yeah. Oh my god. Lots like, of stuff. We're, we're going to do a room tour, I think, of his room because he's got his own little mini retro rival game set up in there. And yes. You've built him some cool things over the year in there. Yeah, I've painted him there. some yeah. stuff. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching there. We just wanted to share some, some of our. You know, creations or whatever I don't yeah. know what you want to call it there I, I I put work this this has more sentimental value to me than than anything there Alex doesn't want it in his room anymore because he's running out of space so yes. I brought it down to the game room and people come in they check it out wow what's that oh yeah so I just want to share with you guys um until next time I don't know if it's gonna be a Tuesday or Friday but <laughs> like subscribe <laughs> comment ring the notification bell God forbid we go without saying that. Yeah, we'll see you in a couple days. Yeah, <laughs> bye. Here, I'll stand up there, see I'll tell you. Just, just over that. Probably that will disappear. So over the next year, maybe you'll grow as tall as, as Optimus. Ah!